Welcome back to Data to Decisions. In the previous video, we saw how we can calculate the number of days in each month, including the starting and ending date of each month. And in this video, we will continue that and then count the number of Sundays in each month, number of Mondays in each month, and so on, using some really simple Excel formula. Let's get started. So now in this spreadsheet, we have already calculated the starting date and the ending date and the number of days from the previous video. We will continue to add these values like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And these are just text values as headers. They don't really have any further impact on the calculations. I start with Sunday uh, as my first day of the week here in display. And that's because this is how default Excel also works. So by default, Excel considers Sunday to be number one, Monday to be number two, though there is an option for you to change this, customize it in Excel, but this is the default behavior. So I've written down one, two, seven in that order to keep things simple. In a future video, I'll explain how we can make it even dynamic and change however we want to start a week with. But for this video, where our goal is to calculate the number of days, number of specific weekdays like Sundays within a series of days, in this case, within each month, then the order really doesn't matter. And you'll see how when we go into the formula. Before I get into the formula, logically speaking, the steps are first, display or extract all the dates in each month, then find out the weekday, whether it's a Sunday or a Monday or so, for every single day, and then say, I want to only count Sundays. This is all we're going to do using the formula. So let's get started. So the first thing is to generate all the dates in a month. So before I do this here, let me just show you on the right side here that it's going to be a little bit easy to follow along. When I, do, when I say sequence, we already used a sequence function in the previous video. It, it is great to generate a sequence of values. In this case, what we want is from the starting um, date, we want to calculate all the um, days in the month. So how many rows will I have? 31 rows for January 29. So let's just use that January for now. 31 rows, comma, how many columns? Just one. Where do I start this sequence? From the first day of the month. How do I increment one day at a time? Great. So now if I hit enter, I will get a series of days, right? So now I'm just going to select all these values and change the way it is displayed so that you see that it's actually a date. All these are date values. Okay. So now that we have it, how do I calculate the weekday of each? So we'll just wrap it around with the weekday. Okay. Hit enter. And now it's not we want, we don't want days. We want it to be, uh, let's go back and change it. Now it gives me the weekdays. So what is two? Two is a Monday, three is a Tuesday, and so on. So now I know the weekdays of each day in January. Great. Now, so I want to count only number ones because one stands for Sunday, as we already explained. So how do I calculate its one? So equals, let's say, for example, in this formula, I go and say equals one and hit enter. And now Excel converts all these weekdays into a true or false. It will become true for a Sunday. It will become false for all the other days, which is exactly what we want. The only thing is, if I could actually count the number of rows, then we will get what we need. However, the count doesn't work here. So in order to do so, I'm just going to convert these trues and falses into ones and zeros. So the way I do that would be equals minus minus open parenthesis and then close it. So basically you're wrapping it up with this um, dash dash and which basically converts the trues and false into ones and zeros. So if I hit enter, you'll see that it's zeros and ones. So once, once again, as I said before, working with numbers is a lot easier than working with text. So once we convert trues and false into this, then I can actually do a sum. I'll wrap it around with a sum. I get four. So there are four Sundays in January. So I can just take this entire formula, okay, copy, and put it into where we need. Okay, now I hit enter. So it'll give me Sunday, right? Great. And if I can drag this along 
um, one thing I need to make sure is when I drag this along, all the references are going to be pointing to the starting and this. So every month, now I can see how many Sundays are there. Just to recap this formula, what we did was first generate a sequence of days in that specific month. Then we wrapped it around with a weekday function to find out whether it's the you know, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And then we said, only if it is one, which is Sunday, then sum up those values. That's all we have done in this formula. So this is great, but how can we make this work for Monday, Tuesday? So instead of hard coding this number one at the end, what I'm going to do is to remove that and select the one at the top. And this is the reason why I had one to seven. In addition to having a representation of what Sunday means, a number, but also it is helpful for this formula that we're going to write now. So when I select F4, and when I go across, I don't, I want the number to change. So, but I don't want the row to change. So I'm going to lock the row, putting a dollar symbol in front of four and hit enter. Okay. Now I can actually apply this formula, single formula to all the cells. So I can click on that cell, select everything. Okay. Go to your formula bar, edit by clicking inside, control enter. Okay, so now we see some weird stuff here. So we need to find out why that happens. And now I know why it happens. Because when we keep going to the right, you see that the starting date and the number of days keep shifting. That should not happen. So I go back to my formula and say, lock my E, column E, to be the number of days, column C to be the starting date. Because whether you're, whether you're counting the number of Mondays or Tuesdays or Wednesdays, it doesn't matter. The starting day of the month is still the first. So that's something that I forgot to do. So I put the dollars and now select all the cells, control enter. So now we have. So you see that sometimes uh, Mondays there are five, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays, but Thursday, Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays are only four in January. So once again, the formula is, Find the sequence of days within the month, wrap it around with the weekday function, and check the weekday function with the weekday that you're measuring, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and then convert that trues and false into ones and zeros, and then wrap it around with a sum to calculate the total. This is how we can calculate the number of specific weekdays in a series of days um, dynamically, and I can just change this to 2025, and you will see that it still works. If you have any suggestions, please let me know uh, for a future topic, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.